Hello everybody and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host, and uh, in this uh, show I am going to take a look at one of the projects that I've packed last year uh, that finished in February 2019 and I recently got my hands on it. I am talking about Carbon 2185, a cyberpunk RPG uh, by Dragon Turtle Games uh, written by Robert Mariner Dodds. The campaign funded at about £161,000. Last time I checked, that is a lot of money. So I wanted to show you if I think this game has been worth the amount of money that I had to back to get my hands on it. Welcome to the GMS Magazine Review Videos. Cyberpunk is all the rage. Uh, Altered Carbon recently for Netflix has done a great deal to help revitalize, as if it needed revitalization, uh, the genre. And uh, people, we still get very fond of uh, cyberpunk games from the 80s and 90s. So Dragon Turtle game was on very safe grounds when they decided to redesign what appeared to be an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous cyberpunk RPG. The level I backed was the limited edition, which um, is the thing I have in front of me. Production-wise, what is it like? Well, it's a hardback that instead of coming with a standard full-color cover, it comes with this absolutely beautiful golden laid velvet cover in black. The book is super heavy, I have to say. Uh, for a book that is not particularly thick, it's just 260-something pages. Actually, 280 pages. It is very, very thick. Um, which tells me an awful lot about the paper that they have uh, used to it. It also makes it very hard to slide the book on this table because of the velvet against velvet. What can I say? I like that you can, the book comes with its little bookmark, which is a very, very nice, nice detail. And the paper is amazing. It's shiny, it's glossy, it's heavy, it's crisp, really crisp. And it promises an awful lot. Taking a look at the table of contents, um, we see that we are having some very simple introductions, character creation, you know, the origins, what classes we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight origins. That's not too bad. Uh, classes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's not too bad. And we get background generation and vices, which this is already telling me that this is going to be one of the games in which the characters are kind of broken at some level. They're probably the victims of uh, the system and they're going to have some compulsions or some phobias or something that makes them more vulnerable. We'll have to see how that plays out when I, when I read it. Uh, not bad for equipment. Um, we have pages 71 to 87. That doesn't feel like an awful lot, to be honest with you. So I don't know what the descriptions are going to be like. Let's take a quick, quick look. The illustrations are actually gorgeous. But yes, the descriptions are actually quite Spartan, is what I would say. But we have a fair amount of equipment. It's not... And, and yeah, this, this looks absolutely beautiful, I have to say. <laughs> this looks amazing. Good number of weapons. Evidently, this is going to be a very combat-orientated game, which is fine. Okay, it seems like there is a little bit of everything without going into mega details. This is something I wish we had seen some more illustrations about the vehicles, just the same as we see them 
for the weapons and the armor. It would have been very nice to see some of the equipment from some of the vehicles because that, that is something that really helps give a sense of future and futurism. So that would have been very cool. Evidently we have augmentations, which is uh, you know staple food of any cyberpunk kind of game. See these I feel we need a few more illustrations in here. It would be very cool to see that. Um, and then we go on to adventuring, and the adventuring part of it, it's 115 pages. Okay. Okay, that's just about enough, I reckon. Uh, combat is 10 pages. Oh, that's going to be enough for the rules for combat. And then we get the rules and the world. And actually, this is something that I do like, uh, that we can... 114, 176. This is 36 pages of world. That's not bad. It's just one city, San Francisco. That's not bad, actually. Plenty of scope for more, but this should give us enough information to have anything we want to play. So, and then we have the... Um, some random generators, which is nice, and an adventure, which is good. So inside, what does it look like? We have already had a glimpse, and the illustrations are looking absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I don't think, in the quick look at part of this book, I haven't seen a single illustration that I didn't like, which is excellent. Love the style. I really love the style. I mean, I think it's worth having this game just to take a look at it, which is fantastic. The layout is actually quite simple and it is very easy to read. They haven't gone for tiny, tiny words. Uh, they have sacrificed page count. This book could have been maybe 20 or 30 pages less than it is if they have reduced the, the font size and you know made these tables a little bit more cramped. But no, they, they have decided, you know what, we're going to go for it and we're going to have easy to read. We're going to have big tables, very simple, with all the information. And we're not going to worry too much about the space. And I appreciate that. A lot. An awful lot. So, this is looking very, very good. I paid £60 plus postage for this. Do I think it is worth it? This is fringe. This is very, very fringe. Because I reckon that other than perhaps this, I don't know, uh, the bookmark and the velvety cover, I don't think I've got anything that the lower, you know, the standard game has obtained, other than the exclusivity. Is that enough to warrant the other 10 quid? I don't know how much it was. I don't know. Um, it's fringe, because I don't think that we're going to see this book again. Not in this format, and if it is, it would be a different edition. So, basically, my great-grandchildren are going to have an ear alone. Or something like that. Am I happy I paid? Yes. A absolutely. No no question. Wish this had been 50 quid instead of 60? Yes. Wish I've had some, you know, pictures or some anything else, you know, anything. Yes. Something tiny bit more. That would have gone a great, great deal to make me feel that this was indeed very well worth it. So, um, what I'm trying to say is that if you have to choose between the normal book at the standard price or the special book, unless you're a collector, guilty, uh, go for the standard book. What's inside thus far definitely, definitely seems is, is well worth um, my money. So, I will be reporting on what this game is like in the inside. If you have already read it and played it or whatever, by all means, do leave me your comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say 
about it. But until the next time, thank you very, very much indeed for being there. It is truly and genuinely appreciated. Remember to subscribe and leave me a comment. And until the next time, I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care.